Hello, my name is Dan and welcome to Team Theme. Today's video will be an intense park battle between two rival parks in the United Kingdom. You guessed it, it's Alton Towers versus Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Firstly, we will view the pros of Alton Towers. Alton Towers has a famous history for being the best theme park in the UK, despite its current state. Towers is also owned by the company Merlin Entertainments, meaning Alton Towers is accessible for those who own a Merlin Amul Pass, giving holders a motive to visit. Plus, Towers is home to many iconic roller coasters that the general public will clearly identify, such as Nemesis and the Smiler. And also, the Towers themselves are a reason to visit the park, as it may be an interest for historians or for those who simply appreciate the lovely scenery. As of 2018, this is as good as Alton gets. However, Blackpool Pleasure Beach has pros of its own. The Pleasure Beach as a theme park has been operating for over 100 years since opening in 1896, meaning it has always been around for those people who are alive today, unless there are people still alive before 1896, which seems pretty unlikely. Plus, Blackpool has much reasonable opening times, with the park being open up to 9 hours on some days, making you get the most out of your money for purchasing a ticket. Also, food options are relatable and affordable to the general public, as the Pleasure Beach offers famous outlets such as Burger King. As well as this, we have to mention Blackpool's famous new addition, Icon, known as the first Mac Mega Coaster in the United Kingdom, a very strong motive to visit for those who travel around the globe. But all theme parks have cons, and Blackpool has a few. The location of Blackpool Pleasure Beach is known for bad weather conditions throughout most of winter and autumn seasons, and the area is known to be a little rough. However, as long as you wrap up and keep peace, you should enjoy. Another con would be the Pleasure Beach's lack of theming throughout the overall park, with most of the highlights of Blackpool's theming on Valhalla and Icon. This con probably will only apply to the theme park community, or just my personal view. Blackpool Pleasure Beach has a few negatives, however, Pleasure Beach is a nice chilled out park. But now when you look at Alton Towers cons, you'll find there is more cons than pros, especially since being under management by Merlin. Alton Towers and most Merlin parks offer very poor food outlets, such as the Burger Kitchen, Pizza and Pasta Buffet and the Fried Chicken Co. The outlets do have a potential, but food is too pricey and staff aren't really that experienced. Merlin are definitely getting better on their restaurants, but still there needs to be a lot more improvements. Towers has also got staggered opening times, with certain rides opening at different times throughout the day. This decision is just pointless as at some times you could be in an area with only half open. Plus, the park closes at 4 or 5 o'clock, and 6 if you're lucky, having a very short day for most guests. Alton Towers is also very unpredictable when maintaining the park, as the closed Nemesis Subterra is clearly visible to the public, with paintwork and signage slowly decaying, which can be easily covered up. But then you go to an area such as Cloud Cuckoo Land, where the recently closed Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is getting worn down, but at least it's blocked off by a themed fence. So when walking around, some areas can be really well done up, and some areas can just be forgotten. So now we have to decide what theme park is better. Would it be the ever so invested Alton Towers Resort, or the chilled out Blackpool Pleasure Beach? My decision is classified for the video, but you can vote which park won the battle in the poll on the right hand corner. And if you would like to explain why you chose that certain park, then just explain in the comment section below. Today's shout out is for Lightning Power, who can be found in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, don't forget to interact below, consider subscribing, and thanks for watching Team Theme, and good night.